Hey y'all. It's been a hot minute since we talked plants. Originally I was going to do a where are they now video, but honestly my collection has changed so much in the last couple of months. I've traded some plants, I've given away some plants, I've sold some plants. And so honestly me trying to like keep track of what is still here versus what has found a new home. It just sounds like a lot of work to me you guys and honestly in this moment I just I can't I just I can't. I am still recovering from some sort of upper respiratory something so forgive the craziness and the congestion but I wanted to hang out today and talk plants with y'all for a brief moment. So I think what I'm going to do is just show y'all a few plants that I'm very excited about right now. We're going to keep it super cash. We're going to keep it super chill. The first plant we're going to talk about is this insane, gorgeous Monstera Aurea. I got this from 365 Hydroponics and I was a little bit nervous because when I first got it in, it was pristine. There was no browning. There was no nothing. It was just these two leaves and they were stunning. It was fine for a few days and then all of a sudden it just randomly started browning as you could see and I was like, oh my god. I panicked because I was like, oh, we're gonna lose it. Come to find out, I think it just didn't have enough roots to really sustain it. It looked like it was a pretty fresh cutting. So not only was it just cut, but then it was shipped and then it was put into a new environment. So I think it just had I think it just it just needed some time since then i have put it in pond and as you guys can probably see hopefully see super rooted super happy very grateful for that and she's just been popping off this is the newest leaf stunning gorgeous amazing and she's got a new leafy baby coming so she's happy and she's thriving and she's doing her thing so the first plant that i needed to showcase is the Monstera Aurea. While we're talking Monsteras, we'll go ahead and showcase the Monstera Elbow. This plant has given me so much grief. I was so close to just like selling this off and being done with it, but for some reason I just can't let her go. I don't know why. She's got me in a chokehold, but yeah, she's doing well. First few leaves down here, as you can see, she's starting to size up. However, um, it has been a long time since I watered my plants. So this next leaf is probably, it looks like it's going to be small and that's, that's on me because I was not taking care of it. So we might have a little bit of like some stunted growth happening with a lot of these plants where the leaves were starting to get big and then they kind of revert back in size, but that's because I suck as a plant parent <laughs> and I went way too long without watering my plants, but she's thriving. She's pushing out some more beautiful leaves and I'm I'm gonna try to stick it out. I'm gonna try to stick in there with her and hopefully start getting some fenestrations again. I am so excited for her to just like thrive already. You know what I mean? We've been through so much. I'm just ready for fenestrations now. <laughs> this next one is huge. This is my McDowell. She's gotten so big. I think she's pushed about two leaves since the last time I showed you guys her. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you know the struggle that I have with this plant where it's getting so big that I don't really know where to put her, but I refuse to not let her continue to grow big. Like I refuse to cut her. I'm trying to show you the whole thing, but I don't know how. Can you see? This is the newest leaf. It hasn't hardened off yet, but it's getting there. And then we have these. Beautiful. Yeah, she's getting huge to say the least. So all good things with the McDowell. <laughs> the next plant that I want to showcase is my Pertusa. I am absolutely in love with the freaking Raffida 4 Pertusa. I am so glad I grabbed one. They're not super talked about for some reason, but I saw Hakuna La Planta had one. He had featured one in a video at one point where he was showing like how big it had grown. And it was nice and mature and had beautifully fenestrated leaves. And so I was like, I need that. I've never seen that before, but I need that. I don't know why more people don't have this plant. It's absolutely stunning. I think I've shown this to you guys before, but when I first got it, it was just these first few leaves. It was like a little baby and slowly but surely, we now have fenestrations. I am so excited, like beyond excited to see this guy every morning when I walk by my plants. I'm just like, oh, the beautiful fenestrations. This is the newest leaf. So we're starting to get some double fennies. Hey now. I'm blown away. I'm so excited that it's starting to fenestrate and do its thing. It was on a really good roll. And then of course I didn't water it for a while. So we'll see how big this leaf gets 
The fenestrations look a little smaller, obviously, but that's okay. I think, like I said, there's going to be a stunt in the growth for a lot of my plants, if not all of my plants. But we see that it's there. It's getting there. And I'm so excited about it. So my Raphidophora pertusa is definitely one that just like has me in a chokehold. I love him so, so much. And then like, can we talk about how crazy the roots look too? Like, geez. He's a happy boy. He's a happy boy. The next one is a favorite on my channel and on my Instagram. And rightfully so, because this guy is so, so gorgeous. This is absolutely one of my favorites. I actually think I like this maybe better than the Sprig de Saint Pete. It's weird to say that, but I'm pretty sure I do. This is the Makas. I cannot pronounce the like actual name of it. I always put it up on the screen because I can never pronounce it. So I always just call it a Makas. This one is another one that I got kind of, no, I wouldn't say it was a baby because like these are the first few leaves that it had and they weren't like tiny, tiny. So I would say it was like a teen, you know, it was, a, it was starting to mature, but definitely the leaves were smaller and then slowly but surely we're starting to get some really nice sized leaves and then of course our most recent is still hardening off look how shiny and just delicious this guy is i love the shape i love the texture i love the color it's just everything about this i would like have a whole wall just of this like it's just so stunning this and the pertusa are probably my two favorite plants in my collection which i know sounds crazy because they're like solid green plants. I do have some really like coveted plants, like all of my Monstera and stuff like that. But honestly, even outside of those, like I could live without those. I love them. Don't get me wrong, but I could live without them. This one and the Pertusa would actually hurt me right here. Like it would hurt me right here if they weren't in my house. So <laughs> definitely a favorite of mine for sure. If you can get your hands on one, I definitely recommend that you do. For the most part, they're easy and kind of low key. So yeah, I just love, oh, I could just literally stare at this all day long. It's just so pretty. So yeah, the philodendron macus. The next plant and probably the last plant in this video is my Anthurium Workweanum Esmeraldense. I got this from Tropicals Plants, of course, and I wanted this one in particular because of the sinus. When I first got it, it was this leaf, this leaf, and then this leaf. I saw this leaf and was like, I love that sinus. Look how like unique that is. But I wasn't sure if it was just like a weird thing that happened with this one leaf or if it was genetic because these other ones didn't really have that so I was like mm. but something told me like I want this one like I don't care if everything else on my order got canceled I wanted this one something just told me I needed it and then we got this leaf which not as wide but still a pretty cool sinus I still enjoyed it it's kind of crazy because there was water on this one day and I just took my thumb and rubbed it and now it's like permanently smudged I don't know it's weird but anyway so yeah once this one came out I was like dang it doesn't have the the cool like wide sinus but it's still really pretty I still loved it but you guys look at this freaking newest leaf now this one is still hardening off so it will get a little bit bigger the sinus might change a little bit but so far this is exactly what I wanted like this weird stretched sinus oh that's what I was wanting when I saw this so I was so happy seeing this new leaf Oh my gosh. And of course it went through a lack of water. So this, this new leaf is a little banged up, but it's doing its thing. Like it kind of took that drought like a champ and it's still pushing along. So it's going to be a pretty big leaf too. I'm really excited about it. So I'm really glad that I like stuck to my guns and didn't put this one back because oh, I just love how it's growing. So yeah. So that's just a few of the plants that I kind of wanted to showcase. I know it's short and sweet. Maybe we'll do like an entire little overview of all the plants and just like an updated collection just so y'all see what I still have what it's looking like right now um I'm gonna make sure that everything is kind of stable first because like I said they did go through like a month-long drought so I'm gonna give them some time now that they've been watered and they're kind of being nurtured back to life um we're gonna give it a little bit of time and just see what happens and then I'll give you guys an update so that you have an accurate depiction of like how everything is doing right now but yeah that was it I hope you guys are doing well thank you so much for hanging out with me make sure you're taking good care of yourselves get plenty of sleep drink lots of water take good care of yourselves and I will see y'all in the next one bye y'all